Also, uh, we should probably say this is a show. It is a show. It's a wholesome Would show with a it's verse a in there verse. somewhere. Maybe. I can't sing. Raps can sing. We know that. Got it. Yeah, I was I'm about going to, to. You know what? I was about to hit you up, Raps, for a commission. Oh, okay. I, I, what am I doing? I would have needed you to lend your voice. Come on, you I, lazy boss. One of my favorite lazy. things to do. Got a job. Drop sequence initiating. Fasten your seatbelts. And it wasn't going to be cringe or anything like that. It was just some, like, um, some deep lore that was in basically the encyclopedia of a game. I, mm -hmm. I tried to read it myself. It didn't, like, punch the way I wanted to. So mm. I thought to myself, you know who would punch? Rhapsody. Yeah. Rhapsody's voice I appreciate punches. the thought. I, I'll uh, expect the script and uh, oh, half payment on advance, half payment on delivery. Um, do you accept, like, candy? Oh, absolutely. I don't accept money because that's just an in, that's a medium between me and the candy that does not need to be delivered to me. <laughs> I'm going to spend it on candy. You got a... What are what are some wait golden loot bug? What is what? Hold hmm. on, golden loot bug. Stuff flying around too. Lots of things flying around actually. But golden loot bug, gold full. Well, that was fast. Okay, I've been playing a little bit. Luckily, we're only on hazard two, so this shouldn't be too dire. Yeah, typically my first. 10 minutes back is me throwing grenade oh, instead of throwing the flash. Did I hear a rocket? Okay, yeah. So anyone catches on F. fire. I okay, apologize. there we go. It's a while to get reacquainted. So One anyway. has the advantage because he's been playing survivors. It does not transfer in the slightest. <laughs> <laughs> Survivors is just like you walk into the wall and your character mines for you. Uh, everything dies in like a couple of hits and uh, I can get my like turrets to just shoot everything and it's great. Now I actually have to try and care. <laughs> we're we're going to assume you're always trying and caring when you're with us. I mean, hopefully. I, Bullet Heavens just kind of put me in that zen state. Mm -hmm. That... I 100% cannot achieve in Deep Rock Galactic, normally. Okay, so we've got, I think, two Dreadnoughts. Oh, how do, we, how do we pull up the map again? Is it like Z? No, X? No, X pulls up like a marker for you guys. Tab? Tab, there we go. Okay, so we've got to find two big, big egg things. Ooh. And there's also bonus objective neutralize contagion spike i wonder if that's one we've done before heads up your location is about to get hammered by meteor shower oh that's oh my god his game does not let you chill oh boy that's just aimed at me whoa you okay yep i mistook the screen shake for getting hit ah yeah I swear oh. I don't remember this much happening in the first, like, two minutes of this uh, game. I think I remember it being somewhat active. I think this mission is also a little bit more active because it's kind of static. We're not really doing much. Right. Do we do we come in here and grab stuff? No. I thought there would be a thing. Maybe All you already right. grabbed it. Oh, yes, yeah, sometimes there is. I remember the play cards used to be in things like that. Um, so I'm at the meteor fragment. Oh, I'm just going to drill a hole up to it. Oh. Yeah, sounds good to me. I think this must be like a somewhat new biome. What? Oh, what the hell is that thing? What's that noise? It's a holy hoarder? It's like a loot bug, but it it's scream. There we go. Oh my god, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. What? That's a lot of stuff. 
oh, you know what? It's probably the Easter event going on. Mm. It, was, it was probably some kind of weird, like, Easter rabbit monster. That's going to be my assumption. Not sure if you were truly alive, but now you're most certainly dead. Okay. So did you guys figure out how to get the uh the meteorite or nah? Uh no. Unfortunately, we did manage to destroy the two meteorites. I think I found the container get from them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't see anything myself either. Okay. Besides the spikes themselves. That yeah, I think some of them you put like a mining machine down that you have to like deal with. Yes, yes. Do you recall that mission? So if you guys want to come to kind of the area that I've marked, I think that's where the uh, contagion spike is. Unless you're doing something else up wherever you are. Where are you uh, We're like below you. Um, oh. Beans. I mean, we're really like on the other side of the wall that's right there. Yeah, I think I know how to get to you. Okay, well, you know what? Uh, I found you guys. Hello. Nice. I just see the uh, the pod go down. I'm like, well, that's a convenient hole. Oh. Oh, we are cleaning? I, yes, I guess I believe so. I'm supposed to clean these rock pods. Yep, I got the vacuum. Watch explodey bugs. Whoa. I'm sorry. I'm shooting at everything. Yeah, I see glow. I shoot. How do I? There we go. As well, put my sentry gun up while we figure this out. There we go. Let's get that pharma. Okay. Yeah, I sucked up some of the dirt. Oh, that was my gun. Okay. So we need to do a cleanup. Lithofomers. Ah? Oh, there's a thing up there shooting at me. Gee, that. All right, I'm gonna go down there. I see you soaping it up. Yeah. It's a little bit far for me. Okay. It popped up the tutorial. Are we supposed to be... Okay, Contagion Spike. Did yes. you guys read the tutorial for this? Do you, do you understand Not what we're supposed to be doing? Though. Okay. So there's definitely soap going out that I can suck up with the vacuum. So I think it's just we do that. Wait, how do you suck it up? Um, there was a special gun. I think oh. there's one more gun maybe. Uh, I also dropped them. one. I dropped the one on the lower level. Uh, there's a lithoformer down there near you. Yeah, because I I've got a lithoformer that I'm using, which seems to kind of be working. But like I I foam stuff up and it seems to stay pretty foamed, but I don't know past that point. Oh, because there's the lithovac that but, one of you guys. Yes. So okay. you'll be working with V to do that. Okay, V, you want to come over here? You want to try vacuuming some of this stuff up, or...? Yep, right behind you. I don't actually know how much of this is... Oh, yeah, it does work. Cool. All yeah, right, let's go the other half direction. done. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, there's a bunch more on this side. I... No. Nice. Okay, so we did get it. Is this okay. not in the survivors? No. No, like none of this is in survivors. Survivors is just like as tie-in as you can get. 
<laughs> just shoot and walk. Yeah. Well, I mean, on, folks. There, I mean, shoot, rock, and or shoot, walk, and dig. But yeah. All right. So that's this one done. Okay. Oh, there is that heart thing above us that we should probably check out. It's marked on the map as well. Oh yeah. Hell is a brundle. Yeah, I swear we're seeing new monsters too. Yeah, well, I mean, they do update this game very often with like new seasons and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, Anyone else like... need some ammo before we get this? Uh, yeah, I could probably use it some ammo. Hurt. How do I do that again? I think it's the number five. five. It's five. Oh, yep. Yeah, I would say like this and maybe Warframe are the only games that update Ooh. constantly where you go back and it's a completely different game. Yeah, what's happened? Uh, No Man's Sky. That's like the other one. I am. I very much want to go back to No Man's Sky at some point, but when? When do you go back? Do you go back when they add customizable ships? Do you go back when they add, like, the the seasonal, like, storylines? Do you go back for the dungeon crawling mode? Raps, did you fall down the thing? I don't have enough nighter. I don't think I can. Oh, uh... Do we want to just take this one out and then try and go? Or I we... have enough ammo. Oh, here's... There it is. Does anyone remember the uh, molly button? Okay, uh, it's C. We probably want to drop down, by the way. Like, yep. not be on this small area. This was probably a mistake, maybe, but it's funny. No, this is fine. Wait, wait, this is what a great if we can spot. go... What if I can just stay in the air? Yeah, this is great. Mostly great. I'm gonna go pick up wraps. Oh, if I can. This is a bad place. No worries if you can. Oh, well done. It's doing something. I think we took its oh, armor off. Close. Yes, show us that weak spot. Oh. And it got. Oh. Alright, ads. Bunch of ads. Ow. Ooh, that shield generator is useful. Is it? Because I never ever press that button. Uh, well, it put me from zero shield back to not zero shield. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Nope. Press every button. Uh, that's bad. Make sure every move's off cooldown. <laughs> yeah, be optimal. I like can't get the angle behind it. Coming wraps. I had less ammo than I thought. Getting into that turret doing its thing. Moment. It's okay, I have one more gun. A good gun for this. Ow. Oh, that that's not the gun. I guess when in doubt. No, this ain't working. Okay, there it is. I swear this turret has ammo. My turret should. Unless it just got blown oh, up. Oh, there he goes. 
No, yeah. funny enough, it didn't start shooting nope. until the back was open. Oh no! It's like is 1%. it dead? My trigger finger was getting tired. Yes. Okay. Woo! Well that done. might have just been the turret, by the way. I'll take that credit. If I had a credit for every time I deposited. Yeah, we need like 13 nitro left. Uh. Is there we really see not nitro next to us? Uh, maybe the the like contagion. Oh well, I'm sitting on some. I just need to deposit. Oh. All right, there we go. Oh, Should there's a bunch right over here. Oh. I also found the next contagion spike. Oh, we need to get those uh, festivals that are flying through as well. Yeah, because we got ten of them. Yes, indeed. So I was going to ask at the beginning of this, Raps. Uh, mm. Got a favorite uh, candy? Australian, American? Doesn't really matter. Red licorice. I'm a fiend for it. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's I. I do like black licorice. I don't have a problem with aniseed. I. Some people are particular about that, but it's it's always been red licorice. Yeah, I'm kind of hit and miss on black. Now licorice. you would say it has to be authentic red licorice. Like it can't just be Twizzlers. I no, it can't because I've had Twizzlers and it tastes like plastic. I don't understand y'all. <laughs> most American, I mean, most American candy tastes like plastic. <laughs> I grew I'm just up assuming on that it plastic. is. Come on. Yeah, I'm just That's assuming my plastic. it is plastic. Supply five launched. <laughs> stand back. No, we yeah. we uh, bought some uh, some Twizzlers because we were having a kind of I, I guess candy event. Everyone brought candy and we just shared it as a novelty. Uh, and Twizzlers were the first very, very polarizing thing at the table. It was like, this tastes like wax, this tastes like plastic, and I love this. There were two people who were like, all about it. Oh, they know. Okay, I got a yeah, phone. I'm not on their level yet. What's yours, Wonder? Uh, ooh. I'm trying to think. I'm probably just chocolate guy. I'm trying to think of mm. other candies. Oh, it's bad, but like, there's, um, I had Whoppers. I don't know if Whoppers are like much of a thing in Australia, but it's a uh, malted no, milk Oh, what's balls. a Whopper? It's just a malted milk ball. So, oh God, okay. these things are horrifying looking. Yeah. And they snare you, I think? Yeah, or at least they goop you up. Ow. All right, let's get some fire in this situation. Yeah. Oh. yeah a lot of people get Whoppers at the movie theater. I don't know if yeah. I've ever seen someone just eating Whoppers, like, in the wild. I... Mm. I don't... You know what it else is that for me? Jaffas. Do you have Jaffas? No. I don't so even it's, know. it's kind of like a... It's, it's, it's like a, a orange and chocolate ball? Huh. Oh, okay. Oh, it's like an orange and chocolate ball. Is it... Basically, a, a piece of chocolate, but flavored to be orange. Yeah. Ow. So we have like a giant version of that. That's basically the size of a navel orange. Yeah. And if Harry's you like chocolate crack, orange, I I don't know the name because I don't eat them. I always yeah. give them away to whoever wants it. Oh boy. I re-gift them. That's what I do with Turkish delight every time I get it. I actually like Turkish lights, but I've only ever had the legitimate thing, so I don't know what, like, the cheap version mm -hmm. is. Because I was in uh, Bosnia, and there was, like, just Turkish delights with, uh, you know, the, the coffee, and it was super good. I didn't like the coffee at all, but I'm just not a coffee guy. You can certainly imagine liking it in that context, but yeah, I've definitely mostly interacted with the overly sweet candy version. Oh, yeah. It's not really supposed to be. Well, no, I guess it is supposed to be reasonably sweet since it's supposed to go with extremely bitter coffee. Okay, like, how much do we extra have bitter? Like, that's the whole thing? Is it's, it supposed it, to be super bitter? Yeah, it's like a reasonably, reasonably bitter. It's very bitter from what I remember. 
and like strong small shot of coffee that you were not supposed to really have too much of. It's not like well, American coffee where you drink like a ton. Yeah, I get the idea of extra strong coffee, but like extra bitter, as in it's gonna actually make your mouth. What would it do? It wouldn't make you pucker up. Yeah, it, it, it leaves it kind of like cloying, like like. I cannot describe bittery though. Yeah. Shoot, I might have to try it then. I, I feel like I'm missing out. It's it's worth it as an experience, and like some people really like that kind of thing. There, there they are. Those fleas are hard to find. Yeah. I get one shot off and then they run away. Yeah. Yeah. Same I'm thing for me. Halfway tempted to just chuck my uh, grenade launcher at him instead. Well, fire grenade at him. Chuck, <laughs> chuck the gr whole grenade launcher. Whoops. <laughs> fire a bow at him. <laughs> you guys do much archery growing up or just like, nah, not really? I did it every so often at camp, but probably three total experiences in my entire life and yeah. only one where I actually had the arm strength to draw a bow. That's where Yeah, our I'm... camping was only camping. Wait. Like no. Rhapsody, no sport. are you telling me you are a giant of a man, but also noodle arms? Uh no, I was just very young at the time. Ah, uh, okay. It, it was kind of like a, a Christian youth camp kind of thing, so like... Got it. it. It wasn't based around, you know, the physical activities that we are capable of performing. It was based around, here's things we can use to try and demonstrate a little camaraderie among all of you, and then we're going to go to a hut and talk about Jesus for a while. <laughs> yeah, I would say it was similar to that, except for the last part. Yeah. Uh -huh. So Whoa. tent building, campfire building, that kind of stuff. Uh, has anyone seen the space bunny around here? There was a like I, a mechanical I, bunny that was I heard uh, it jump around. Ow! I got one shot off and then it boinged. Yeah, they they bail. They're worth it if you can catch them. Was that the loot bug you were talking about earlier? Yeah, that weird, horrifying loot bug that I found earlier. I found a bunch of nitro, so we should be able to actually. Call at least one or two supply drops. Ooh, that sounds great. I only did one Christian uh, summer camp, and they did the whole like speaking in tongues thing, and I said, "Nope, not for me." You're a good so that boy. feels like a hard sell kind of moment, like like the big buy-in. <laughs> yeah, it not the kind of thing that you do with a bunch of middle schoolers who haven't done this before, because yep. uh, the vibes immediately flopped. <laughs> Did all of the kids just feel like, oh, this is... Uh, my entire is group nice. was ready to go home. It got mm -hmm. too strange. Yeah, there were some the people that were very into that wants it. to hear the speaking in tongues? <laughs> Wait, the kid, I hear a teacher's pet who joins in. <laughs> I found the space bunny. He could do that? Uh, leap directly up a wall? Oh, it's coming back down. Oh, right in front of me. Did you get it? Chasing. Oh my god. That's oh, it speeds up as soon sucker. as it takes damage. <laughs> We're going deep into enemy territory to do this. <laughs> well. Did it just go straight past me? I, I think so. Oh, yeah, yeah. The fact that it's on the ceiling. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the problem. Did we get it? Nope. Not yet, not yet. 
Got it. There it goes. Pick up bunny. I have it. <laughs> you deposit it? I think so. Let me just. Oh, it was right there. <laughs> this is not what I was expecting I'd be doing today. But I don't mind it. Yeah, you can deposit the bunny. Nice. Oh, cool. All right. Uh, let's see. This is the other egg. Yes. Very far away. It is. Yeah, kind of around this tunnel. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, we've only got two more festive leads to get along the way as well. Cool. I guess we're going to get this. I, these missions are kind of nice because you're not going anywhere. It's just like one mm -hmm. small cave system, so it's a little easier to navigate. Yep. Great way to de roster the game. I, I almost wonder if they did flea. something to the level generation, because I feel like most of the time when we replay this, it's a little more compacted, no which is nice, actually. Uh, I think it's just we've been getting the Dreadnought objective way more often. Uh, I think we actually don't want to go this direction, or do we? Oh, no, there. I'll be honest. I'm going to start drilling. Oh, thank God. Yeah. I'll navigate occasionally. Yep. Just keep going straight. I do hope there are options in Rogue Core where you can just drill forever. Mm hmm. Just pick up enough, like, yeah. fuel efficiency perks over the course of a run, and it's just like, yeah, I'm just going to drill. Bye. Ooh. This means there's a goodie in here. There it is. Whoop. Well spotted. Is this it? Over in the distance up here? It is indeed. Whoa, hang right. on. Praetorian's on the wall. Before we summon, we uh, before we piss them off, we should probably do at least one more loot drop because you guys are both looking pretty injured. Yeah. Much appreciated. Oh, the hell is phasonite? Some kind of purple mineral. I don't know if I've seen that before. Yeah, I don't think I've seen it before either. Ooh. What? Hacking? No, what? not again. <laughs> the hacking minigame is Flappy Bird. No. <laughs> this is thirsty work. Can you let us know when you get it open? There's a dreadnought cocoon here. A uh, bunch of health crystals drop down to your area. Ooh, thank you, thank you. Much better. All right, it's open. Jet, jet boots. What? Says I can equip. Boots. Oh, they have a little oh. bit amount of ammo though. <laughs> Which wait, no, no, they just recharge. That's incredible. Perhaps you gotta grab that. Oh, get him. Oops. Pack the jet boot crate. Jet module crate. So that's the stuff I especially hope is in Rogue Core. Oh, you just have jet boots for the rest of the Ooh. run. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. Yeah, I... That's incredible. I want it. Permanently. Okay. I'm not seeing much else in this area. Do we... Do we spot the egg? Oh, it's yeah. above. Where the... There it is. Yeah. Right next to it. Yeah. Well, um, uh, did we spawn the additional ammo? No, I don't think we did. Yeah, just asking this. for a friend who has 44 flamethrower. Any other goodies in here? Never mind, it just exploded for itself. Grabbing 
I hear something here All that's right. not happy. Yeah, oh. the pet fighting a freighter. Oops. Wow, that works. All right. Get this done. We ready to blow it up? Yep. yep. I'm not seeing anything else. We'll get the, uh, the flea later. All right, different bug. I think I bounced off of both of your heads. Okay, jet boots are legit. I I am liking them so far. They're messing with me a little bit. <laughs> I'm not used to it. Whoop. Yeah. You can't. Ow. It can hit me from there. Oh, boy. Bad time to be out of jet boot. Good time to be right next to the resupply pod. Boy, this is not the best environment to be fighting in. I love mm. the idea of putting down a dome to protect us when, like, someone has a flamethrower that's shooting straight through the dome. <laughs> Why he's so close? I don't like it. Ah. Oh. No! I thought it died! Oof. Well, at least you're right next to me. As long as he doesn't suddenly gain a extreme interest in me. Um, I'm you for the hoping pickup. to prevent that. Right, Hold on. Got him. All the objectives are completed. Hit the on the mule and we'll send in the drop pod. All the objectives are completed. Festers. Yeah, we're yeah, having a please. Oh, those are my drones. Yeah. We also have one more bit of ammo wraps because you're mm -hmm. you're down. So if you want to stock up and heal up, remember to share with your teammates. Sounds good to me. So did you do too many other uh, or how many times did you go to summer camp over the years? Like a lot, not much, just that one time. Yes. So sorry. It was, uh, it, I, I feel like I very quickly cottoned on because like the last time that I went was the time that I realized it was a Christian summer camp. And that does mean that I went to multiple sing-alongs for Psalms and I was like, nothing Christian about this. <laughs> I mean, if you're not paying attention, you can kind of just like zone out through it. I absolutely was not paying attention. They had a water slide, so I would just think about that all day. Cripes, that is a very well-stocked camp. Yeah, that's Jesus' mm -hmm. water slide. Straight yeah. from the New Testament. <laughs> exactly! Oh, you got it. I saw exactly half of a Fester Flea, and it disappeared entirely. Oh. Yeah, one actually... Flew through a hole in the wall, like an actual drilled hole. It wasn't like it just made one. Mm hmm. And I don't know why I thought that was so cool that it found a way to escape. They yet elude us. Well, I think we got all of them, so we just have to hit the button. Yeah, no. Oh, we do have all of them. Yeah. Uh, I'm it. near the button. I'll hit it. Your ride home is on the way. Drop pod inbound. Oh, these boots are going to make it so much easier to get back to. Hopefully, old pod. I'm just going to... I'm just going to sit on top of... Uh, what's it called? What's this thing's name? Molly, there we go. Will it actually carry you? Uh... Somewhat. Not like legitimately, but you can kind of keep your yeah. It just it, it just carried me all the way up. <laughs> oh, this I is guess not got... far at all. Yeah. Hey. Oh, those are the exploding variety. Ow! 
Oh, exit zone's open. Okay. Never mind then. Jeez, that did so much damage. Yeah. Well, it was like three or four explosive bugs. Well, I'm glad you counted. I only saw the one. It was... I saw a lot of limbs in there, so I kind of guesstimated. <laughs> Times two Ooh. for Spring Bunny. Wow. That's nice. I mean, people hate on live service games, but come on, that that's cool. actually legit. Part of it is like, you have to actually do I'm good live service. Like, uh, hmm. Destiny, not doing good live service in comparison. And that's kind of why people hate live service. I don't know if you've been paying attention, but it's just like, hey, your game's in kind of a bad state. Yes, but what about Ghostbusters skins? This is like, uh, <laughs> that ain't gonna fix it for me. Also, reminder, um, I just looked at Ghostbusters, uh, whatever the hunt game was that we played. Yeah. Mm. I think they either just put out DLC because of the movie or it's on sale right now because of the movie. But it's still only on Epic, I think. Uh, so no way to really, at least I don't think they have reviews on Epic, do they? Don't think so. But I mean, like, it's probably still good the base game was fun Ooh. i don't remember how we Wicked. did ghostbusters did we have a full stack of five yeah yeah, yeah we a had a stack it. of five And then Midnight Ghost Hunt hit 1.0, I want to say this week. Ooh. We need to swing back around to that at some point. Yeah, but I think you need a decent stack of people, right? Yeah. At least six. I might be able to... Well, I don't know. Depending on, like, if we start reaching out to guests, we could probably get that amount. Okay, I guess we're good to go. No reason to stick mm -hmm. around. I ain't got all day. Yeah, I just want a quick drink. Nothing exotic. Nothing like that kept you drunk the entire round last time, Wander. That was hilarious. I was so worried that like my viewers gonna be mad about it. They thought it was the funniest thing ever. Raps, were you there for that? I don't know if I was. I so, you know it might have been one of the times where you showed up late because of time zone issues. But I was perpetually drunk yeah. for an entire run. Uh, it was really, really hard to play. Yeah, it like persisted through the actual transition. And then yeah. like, it was also a map that required verticality. Mm -hmm. I feel like you would have gotten motion sick doing that. I, I'm pretty good with motion sickness, as long as I'm not in a car. Solid. Oh, Neil Salvage. Young Seed! Oh, I grabbed it. I had no idea what this was. I was about to Ow. kick it into the pit. Here, uh, aim for the cheese when you land. I gotta remember my, uh, my made platforms prevent falling damage. Oh, that's a thing? Yeah. Yeah, I can make platforms that, uh, are soft. Oh, it even has, like, an animation when you land on it. See, these devs thought of everything. I, yeah. I think, I think there's a slight difference between kind of the live service that... Ow. <laughs> eh, he's fine. Wow, that was effective. <laughs> uh, I think this. I was is looking around of... trying to figure out who did that. Uh, someone else. Is... <laughs> <laughs> it was Rito. 
I was gonna say, this is the same kind of live service that, like, RimWorld is live service. Like, it just keeps kind of slowly getting better. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho. that's gooped. Don't step on the... I was gonna say, do we have stuff. a choice? Uh, I can put platforms down. Well done. Y'all. Uh, okay. <laughs> so we might not have as much of a choice on this route. Does flamethrower work on these? Great question. New. No. Yeah, I was gonna say, if it doesn't just ignite the entire floor, I'm gonna say no. Okay, I put a couple of platforms down. It should let you go through most of it. I kind of wanted the Baldur's Gate 3 level of explosion there. Oh, mm -hmm. man. Uh, have you ever played Divinity Original Sin? Because it gets even more explodey. Yeah, I have one clip from like 2018 of me and my wife playing it. It was back when I only played League of Legends and Final Fantasy XIV on stream. For some reason, I recorded us doing to be in the original Sin 2. We were fighting, I think there was a witch that was on a crucifix in the middle of a forest. And I, I don't know how, I don't know why, but somehow the entire forest got set on fire. Yeah. Sounds about right. Good game. Uh, Just like really long. It's hard for us to do that. Yeah, it was like a hundred hours or something obscene. I found the bunny. I am dealing damage to the bunny. Oh, I see it. is on half health. Oh yeah, I see, I see it. It might have died up there. Yeah, it died up here. You got it. Oh hell yes. Nice going. Yeah, that was all you. I I shot no. one bullet. I looked at it. <laughs> uh, very luckily, it was hopping in uh, a very, very small area. Like the roof was above its head, oh, it's so I just cornered it and lit it up. Hell yeah! There's a lot of stuff to interact with. I think. Their balls on the ceiling, and then we had a gunk seeds. Ow! No, 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 no. Okay. You okay? Yeah, I was about to be not okay. Does one call Molly again? C. C. Yeah, I got the same idea as you. Platform. Oh yeah. Ooh. Found a. Oh no, this is this is one of the things to salvage up here. I guess I could start working on that. Access yeah, we're doing seeds. Because there's like a, a pack of them right here for some reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, this, I we're gonna need the gunk tree. To go just five feet. That uh, was a prank. It's <laughs> just doing a little prank on us. Oh. Cool. 
Three. One more. Well done. I'm bringing back another, so we're on three very soon. Now, do we know if the drop pod, the like kind of crashed one, if we can deliver stuff to it? Oh, we can. Heck yeah. Like feeding a bottomless pit. You were talking about Is delivering something to something? We have a drop pod like here already. And uh, we can, in fact, like just deliver things to it. Ooh. Is that from where we're supposed to salvage the molly? Uh, no, they're these kind of like pinging, uh, they're, they're the crash little mollies on the ground. I think I've already done like half of them, but it's right next to me. If you want to hold the X, you can see where I'm at. They're looking for the little ping, pinging legs. I think, I think I'm almost done though. Yeah, there's one more mule. Yeah, one more mule, and I should have the last leg for said mule in my hands right now. That's a freaky looking horror. Two more I love just the moment of you just chasing that bug down in front of me, burning it, and I'm just waiting patiently for the fire to stop. <laughs> it it could kind of continue a, living. Yeah, it was just a very like, I don't know, I want to call it like a music video or like trailer footage thing. Where you have like the one person that's like dutifully doing the objective and everybody else is doing chaos in the background. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Before we do the uplink, we should probably do a supply drop. Sure. Because I remember the last time we tried uplinking and we were not prepared. I think Dane was like permadead or something. It was awkward. We just need one more seed once I deposit this one. I don't think I've even processed where the seeds are. Yeah, which is fine because like. you were on. Uh... Yeah, I did the objective. Yeah. Probably enough nitro. Secondary objective completed. Oh, the All right, job. I got the last seed. Nice. Never mind. Someone else did it. All right, where do we want to make our stand? I think we have to make it on the the um the drop pod. Well, it's not the drop pod. It's like the box next to the drop pod. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's this thing. Yeah. Okay, so let's... Do we not have enough? There we go. Ooh, double. We can get, like, three more nitro. We can actually do triple. Do a peek. There might be a loot bug. Time to restock. Yeah, I don't see anything like right next to us. I see, I see some nitro. I can go grab it. Kind of overkill, but I don't know. Isn't there's definitely somebody like a video game quote out there that's like there ain't no kill, but uh, or ain't no kill like overkill or something to that extent. Do not remember what game that's from. It's probably StarCraft or something. I was gonna say, is that another Hell Divers thing? Ooh, could be. I would like to play that at some point. 
Mm, Whatever same. goes on sale. So I'm not the only person who's never played it. Nope. Okay, I feel so much better. It does really feel like one day every single person I know was talking about it. <laughs> There was no preamble. No one started playing it. Everyone just was playing it. And yeah. none of the people were me. I hear management's been trying to get ship it to knee pads. I didn't think of a game like that recently. I mean, obviously, Helldivers. I guess I'm good to go if we want to uplink. Yeah. Yeah, on my way. Wait, can I get two sentries? No, I can only get one. All right. Do you press the button? How do we trigger this thing? Go get him, boy. Um, yeah, there's a button on Molly and a button on the pod. Well, let's just do it. Let's see what happens. The mules are heading back. Follow them and let's get that drop pod fixed. Remember, you can always deposit on the side of the drop pod. I would imagine we wouldn't be depositing anything at this point. Yeah, I think we're pretty good. Okay. Oh, come here and hit it with the hammer? Roll core, we have one person specking into repair only. I I do not mind playing like team healer in these games if it gives me the option. Yeah. It definitely has like potential for some really good ideas. It just needs like a little bit more uh, build customization and like the overclocks from uh, Survivor. Because what's a good example? Uh oh, like uh. One of the overclocks is like your flamethrower just like leaves fire behind wherever you're, um, you know, wherever you point at it. So, uh, yep. so instead of just like burning a couple of enemies, it just sets the ground on fire for a while. And that's super nice. There's also like a lot of really good weapons in Survivor that just aren't in this game. So hopefully some of them make an appearance. Oh, if we're all in the uplink area, by the way, uh, it goes faster. Oh, sorry. I'll come back. At I don't think it really matters. I think we've kind of goof moded this one. I mean, this has been the most painless one thus far. Yeah, I'm actually baffled. <laughs> I feel like something's going to happen that we don't know about. Who's gonna protect you now? New mechanic just dropped. <laughs> Stand by, uh, oh, fresh <laughs> I found Raps's like surprise tunnel. <laughs> I couldn't climb. Just a goopy dude down there. Incoming baby. fuel cells. Oh. Fuel cells have arrived. Get them connected to the drop pod. I made a platform. Okay, this is just platform up. Putting oh, just down the lines. Yeah, I think the the entry point is like right here. Okay. Oh, oh, you did get it. Oh, there we go. Right, that's that one. Connected. Now you just need to prep the fuel cells and the charge sequence will begin. Hit it. It's like hyper advanced bop it. My wife bought one of those like maybe two months ago for a kid's birthday. She said that it's like super cheap now. Really? Like if you play with it, it'll actually break. Whereas oh, the last that kind ones, of super cheap. Or yeah. made of lead or something. Would not shock me that... Well, I mean, like, would not shock me that the quality is degraded tremendously over the years. Oh, 
But I always wonder, is it like, is it just that you're just stronger as an adult, so everything seems weaker, or Jeez. did we literally have like adamantum boppets? Uh, back then? I mean, it's kind of the the equivalent of shrinkflation, but for uh, plastic quality. Mm -hmm. Keep using cheaper, more brittle stuff. You know, you can get away with it because who's gonna care? It's a child, right? They break it, you just buy another one. Which also gets you to get them to buy another one. Yeah. I mean, it's at that iPhone. point, you may as well get them bop it on iPad. Yeah. Which I'm certain there's a bop it app. <laughs> Fuel sales at 75%. You're almost there. Because it's like. Um, like we had to go into a gym recently and I was trying to think to myself like wow this gym is so tiny and like when I was a kid it was so much bigger than this but I'm like literally bigger than I yeah. am as a child so I oh, don't yeah. know if it's like is it a perspective thing or, Some of or are they making the gym stuff. cheaper <laughs> I don't know I went to like a YMCA both. as a kid as kind of just like a, hey, this is a cool hangout space because I've, you know, I'm 10 and people are playing Pokemon cards. And I was like, yeah, this place is huge. And then I went to, went into the local one and it was even bigger. And I'm like, this is unsettling. I'm not used to being dwarfed as an adult. <laughs> Disneyland is kind of the reverse. You go back to Disneyland, and you're like, oh, this is actually weirdly small really i know i, I mean, haven't been it's not that bad but it there's definitely kind of that feeling of of i can cross this in a matter of like minutes if there's no crowds in the way and as a child i that was unthinkable yeah i i've never been but don't they like use like wooded or like forested areas to kind of segment the park so you can't really see all of it at once uh, not Disneyland. Disney World, yes. Okay, right. Disneyland is in the middle of LA. That would be like a theme park in the middle of Sydney. You don't exactly have space for that. These water well, features... We actually do have a theme park in the middle of Sydney, and a big problem with it is there's no space. Uh, yeah. We put up a roller coaster uh, to... Because we had a really, really, really bad old roller coaster in the park. That was the only thing we had. This is Luna Park, if anyone is familiar. Uh... But we put up a new roller coaster that everyone liked for a period of time until the residential apartments around it that were built after the roller coaster complained. Complained. Got taken down instantly. About the noise. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of a, a hard sell one way or another, because people kind of do need to live in these cities. But they do! Maybe but not like, next to the theme park. Those apartments were also built next to the theme park. Yeah. Oh, it's open. oh it is? Oh. I mean, I'd... but that's like, that's a good view, right? It's not like the park's open after midnight, yeah. right? Yeah, it's no. It's not going to keep you up at night. Exactly. It doesn't doesn't run those attractions that oh, late. Oh, you know what? Watch it be like a retirement village or something. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, it's like the kids skateboarding on the sidewalk. Yeah. Thank you for How saying yes. I'm sure it has nothing to do sound-wise compared to a roller coaster. I'm just thinking to myself, if I look outside and or if I have guests over and I open the window and say, hey, this is the great view we have of the roller coaster in Sydney. Mm -hmm. That's like kind of cool. And your contributions cannot be overstated. Rock Park's I fully agree. I think they uh, it's a bad decision.